obviously uh, a, a tremendous Big uh, Big Ten battle. Uh, I thought uh, Indiana, uh, their physicality uh, defensively took us out of a lot of stuff, and I give them a lot of credit for how just physical they were. They do a great job of getting their hands on balls. Um, uh, you know, it was a fight to the finish, and I think in some ways we were fortunate that, you know, uh, we give our kids a lot of credit, but obviously you feel a lot different if Romeo's ball that goes in and out goes in. Uh, um, your feeling's different, but I think I still would have been proud proud of our team in a lot of ways, even if that, that three did go in. Um, so uh, we'll uh, hopefully learn from this and you know appreciate the fact that it's hard to win on the road. If our guys made a lot of plays, we'll, we'll move on. The dunk from Andre, like you were trying to set it up, look like you were going to go for Caleb, but the guy said you were looking for Andre. No, it was for Andre. Yeah, so um, like I said, what, what did you see on that play and how well did you guys execute what you were looking for there? Because a lot of people probably thought you might go to Caleb. Well, we, we were, that's about a 10 out of 10, and it rarely happens for you as coaches, honestly, mm -hmm. um, where you get exactly late what you're trying to get. I mean, I say rarely, but it doesn't happen a lot. You, you, maybe you get a tip in or a guy, they take that away and a guy makes a play to win the game. Um, been very few of my coaches, I mean, a few times where you, where you get exactly what you're looking for. We just knew they were going to be heavy um, on the ball screen, so we tried to slip them out and pull Caleb high. And I thought Andre did a great job finishing, and the pass was perfect. Would you run Does that, that answer your question? Yeah. Would, when you run that, and, and when you're talking about it, and you hope it works out the way that it did, are you telling Andre, like, finish, finish this with a dunk? Make yeah. Sure he finished the we break. thought the corner guy, the fifth defender, the guy guarding the corner shooter, uh, would pull. And I think that was Romeo who tried to make a play on the ball and almost did. Uh, he, he really saw it well. We haven't run that play all year. Yeah. Um, we've never run it. We just have had it ready in case uh, teams play a certain one. And you guys were, were it seemed like you were posting Andre a fair yeah. amount. Yeah, three or four buckets down there. Just was that a matchup thing, or is that something you're, you're hoping to see more from him overall? A little bit. Uh, it, it was more what we're trying to see from him. Yeah. It was a little bit more of that. Um, and, and we were. We were struggling with some of the double teams on, on Caleb, although I thought Caleb gave us some really good minutes and did some really good things, but that, that was the reason. We just felt like we could get him uh, in the low box where he's comfortable. But what was the key to keeping things positive and keeping the guys dialed in? I mean, you had some significant offensive droughts multiple times, but you never gave up the lead except at the very end. What was the key to keeping guys focused on sort of the right thing and not letting that yeah. you know, spiral? Because I felt like it could have gone the other way a number of times. Yeah. Well, I think... Um, it's, it's a good question. I, I think you're trying to work on that from day one, really, with your group. Um, because I don't know if that's something you can just turn on in, in the middle of February. Um, this idea of just playing the next play and staying with it, because you're right, it could have, you know, you get so frustrated, coaches get frustrated, players get frustrated, but it's a fast game. And if you let that get the best of you, then you got no chance. So I thought we played smarter than what we have at times. But uh, that's really some approach we try to work on from day one, talking to our guys about that. And you need you need guys that have been through it a little bit to, um, I think, to have an understanding of that. Kept one Morgan pretty quiet tonight. What was you know what were your big guys doing kind of at the point of attack there, and then on the help side, what made those help defenders effective in taking away his passing lanes? Well, I think he probably missed some shots he normally makes. To be honest with you. Um, uh, I think he misses some shot. I mean, you know, he he is a terrific player, and I think I said I said last year, I said in the summer, he was he was maybe the hardest matchup for us um, in the league. Um, and Archie does a great job putting him in different spots, posting him, playing him high, um, rolling him. Um, so we just had to send bodies to him, um, and I thought our guys did a good job of sending some multiple bodies at him. With the home court advantage that Indiana has, and coming out with the close victory. Where do you feel like this puts your team in terms of the overall Big Ten to get back from? What does a win like this do? I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't, it's a great win against a really quality ball club, but um, who I think is going to finish really well. I really believe in the end it's going to finish well, but at the same time, um, you know, I tried to not make too much of the losses and, and you know, we're just we're trying to figure out a way to play against the home over a team that, that has really bothered us. That's the our focus. The CJ answering with the three right after Romeo yeah. hit the three. Now that was not drawn up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we 
I guess what, what are the emotions that go through that where you you fend them off all game and then they Romeo all people hits a three here and place goes nuts and you need an answer on a night when offense has been hard to come by and CJ hits that one was Yeah, I thought uh what was was it Green who made the three right before him on on the late yeah. clock situation? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, you're fine. Yeah. I just wanna make sure I was thinking straight. Um you know, they threw in a deep one late in the clock and and honestly, ours was a bit of a prayer. Uh, but CJ, how many times has he done that in his career, right? Like yeah. he just, I mean, he did one last game where it was a stuff. <laughs> um, he really has shown the ability to make those next little sh shots and make those plays. But that might have been, in some ways, the second biggest or the biggest play of the game because it's a three-point game, and, and we're like you said, we're struggling to score. You guys have gone on a winning trick here since the Michigan game. Uh, some of your players said, like the little skirmish or whatever, kind of brought them together. I mean, can single events in a season kind of spark a team like that? Mm, you know, I don't know. I think you'll have to ask them that. Um, I'll let them speak to that. Um, you know, I think, listen, you, um, you know, when you, when you live in the valley a little bit, you, you tend to appreciate uh, the climb to the mountaintop a little bit. And I'm not saying we're near the mountaintop, but but I just think maybe it was that moment or maybe it's just going through what we went through uh, in that stretch that uh, kind of forces you to appreciate uh, this journey we're on and appreciate winning a game and enjoying the moment um, because I can get lost a little bit when you're when you're 12 and 1. Chris, have you seen Caleb do uh, a better job here lately? Of, of, I know he had the big game against Rutgers, but you know, Penn State in this game tonight, he wasn't the prolific scorer. He was actually in a little bit of foul trouble, but he seemed to find ways to impact games. It's, do you see that as, as growth for him over the last couple of games? I do. I do. I think he I think he was really solid in a lot of ways tonight. Didn't let the frustration of the game uh, get to him in any way. Just kept playing. Uh, made a real impact. I thought there's things he can do better, but I agree with you. I just thought he, he, had, a, he had a good approach for the, for the whole night. And Musa, I think, had the tip at the end that the guy has a, a turnover. Um, just what did you think of his activity on the defensive Outstanding. end? Outstanding. I thought it was one of the major keys to the game was his defense and his rebounding. I'm not sure what he finished with then, but uh, uh, oh, I had six. But I thought his his defensive rebound. I told that to the team. It was, we don't win the game without that. Did you feel pretty good overall about about? The defense, they, they were pretty good at capitalizing in transition and off turnovers, yep. but outside of that, you were pretty good about your defense. I did. Just what, did. what was the difference, I guess? Because you had, it's fluctuated a little bit how you guys play in the half court defensive level. It seemed like it was a pretty high level. Most of the night. Yeah, I, what I would say, Bill, is I think that our commitment defensively has been pretty consistent. Um, and it's not always where it needs to be, but it's been pretty <coughs> consistent. Um, I don't know that we always play as smart as we need to. Um, defensively, and that's been our challenge. But um, I thought overall in this game it was pretty solid. And you talked about Andre Lesson becoming a little bit more of a scorer um, this year. At what point did you feel comfortable that you'd be able to call play for him when the game's on the line at the end? Was there 35 seconds to go in the game? Probably about th when there's 35 seconds to go. <laughs> no, um, I, I think that was. Um, he fit kind of what that action required, and um, and he's a good finisher. He did a great job finishing. Man, he did a great job finishing. But uh, I would say most importantly, we went to him in the guts of the game um, when we needed a basket, uh, and that was probably just as important as you know we're, it's a two point game and we're, like we're going to him. Uh, that was something that I think if you'd ask me when did I start thinking that probably about. Um, a third of the year through, we start felt like, hey, could we put him in different spots? And because we all know this group has struggled to score the ball, like that's not a secret. It's not a secret. So you're searching, okay, how can we put our guys maybe in different positions or get more out of certain guys when you're struggling to score? Like, and we'll continue to struggle to score at times, but um, probably a third of the way through the season. Chris, you might have already talked about this, but uh, when you're down three and Jackson's out there and the shot clock's running down. Anything go through your mind when he shot put that ball up? I know he hit the shot to win it last year in double overtime, but it just looked like it was just he just yeah, went it. It's, it's amazing. He has an incredible knack for that. Um, it was a busted. We just did. We had, we didn't have much going that possession. We didn't have anything going, and uh, 
Um, he's got an incredible knack for that. But uh, I was I was relieved because I thought the game was potentially a tipping point there. Okay. Um, you, you talked a lot about with the young guys in your team sort of figuring out what they can and, and can't do. I think maybe most of that on the offensive end. Um, with Andre, is he an, an example of what, what it looks like as a guy develops, as, as someone figures that kind of thing out? Because I don't, when he got here, I don't think people expected him to contribute really in any significant way offensively. And it seems yes. like he's really grown with that role. He's, he's, he's exactly, <clears throat> he's exactly that. And I think he struggled with it early last year too. I think he struggled with kind of where do I, how do I impact the game? Where do I impact the game? He took bad shots early. If you guys remember early last year, and he, he um, had a lot of turnovers. And I, I, I remember everybody was yelling at me, he's bench Wesson and bench Dockage. And, and you know, I heard bench Dockage a lot throughout the year actually. Um, but but the, the, those guys, he, he's a great example of kind of just, he, he's figured it out. He's, you know, obviously, both two of those guys were almost, two of our most valuable guys last year. He's moved into this year where he's, he's got, gotten even a better understanding of that. Uh, how can he impact the game based on his skills? He had a good off offseason, um, but he's a great example of that. And I, it, it takes time for players, you know, and in, in, as a junior, we, you know, he should have an understanding of that. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.